trying to go with off of just kind of what Jeff was talking about with the running game. How how do you guys feel like the offensive line has improved? I know you, you mentioned after spring that you all wanted to get more. You got more bodies. How has the line improved enough to to allow you to kind of use that that running game? Yeah, we definitely feel feeling good about our offensive line right now. Uh, I think we got a lot of good pieces in the off season, uh, coupled with some guys that that have. Uh, been here, uh, they played a lot of football, so we have a lot of experience up front. Um, a, a lot of guys that we can rotate in there as well. Uh, you know, we feel good about our depth at that position. So uh, that's definitely something we're going to have to utilize is the run game, and uh, those guys have shown a good job of blocking up the run game. And we definitely have uh, some running backs that we feel confident in handing the ball to. Given the lifelong lessons and teachings your father Oscar has given you and your brothers, how do you incorporate that in your teachings and coaching? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, obviously, my dad was obviously the first coach uh, that we all had. Uh, he coached us growing up in basically all sports. Uh, so he was a big influence on us not only uh, playing sports, but then uh, helping us uh, achieve a lot of the things that we did throughout sports. Um, so you take what you take what uh, you've learned as a as a child, uh, coupled with the things you learn along the way from other coaches, and use all that uh, when you're trying to formulate how you want to coach up your guys. So uh, that, definitely, that's the first impact that, that probably we all had was was our dad coaching us up. Yeah, yeah, Brian. When you guys do the game plan, do you formulate it with Jeff, or it, he signs off on what you do, and then as the game unfolds, are you calling plays and he says yes, no, and and vetoes it, or how, how does it work? Yeah, so uh, we as an entire offensive staff, we we sit together and we start to formulate the game plan. Uh, Jeff, obviously, he's the head coach. He has a lot of different responsibilities, but he's in there as much as he can be with us, uh, formulating that game plan and putting putting all the uh, scripts together and. Uh, he's as involved as he can be. There's times where he might step out and he go sit with the defense, or he might step out and go with the special teams coach, or he might have to go do media. Uh, and whenever he does that, then I'll take over the room and uh, we'll get the work done that needs to be done and, and kind of fill him in when he when he pops back in the room. Uh, but on game day, uh, Jeff Jeff is calling the plays. Um, I'll be in his ear, giving him suggestions and uh, taking him through uh, a lot of the scenarios or what I think might be good in search, certain situations. Uh, but he's the one that, that is calling it uh, on game day. Yeah, I think Jack has a really good rapport with with the with the offense and, and with the team in general. Uh, I think it helped when he got here that he was basically the only one that knew the offense, uh, so he was able to uh, have a lot of uh, meeting player meetings uh, without coaches in there, and he was the guy kind of up front leading the charge and and teaching those guys kind of what we were looking for and what we were trying to do. And that's carried over here into fall camp where um, he's almost he's almost like another coach on the field for us. Uh, he knows the offense so well. So well, he's been involved with our offense for a long time, and um, you know he's able to correct guys if they have if they have made some mistakes on the field. And I like to let him do that. I think uh, that shows leadership, um, and uh, guys respect that when he can when he can step in and give them the correct information uh, and kind of coach them up. You want that from your quarterback, and he's able to do that. How's Jack different from when you guys had him at Purdue? As a player or just as a person? You know, he's just, he's just older, more mature. He's been through a lot more. Um, he was always very uh, intelligent, very smart, understood uh, the offense. Well, he's probably the, f the fastest uh, freshman I ever had at picking up the offense. Uh, he, he was really good right away. Uh, but he's just been through a lot more situations. He's seen a lot more. Um, he's able to um, calm his emotions a little bit more uh, than, than when he was younger. He, you know, he... Uh, can can see it from different perspectives. So I think he's just more mature. Uh, that, that's what you get with a young adult from 18 to 22. They mature a lot in the, those years. Brian, when it comes to your wide receivers, I think one of the things that Jeff has said is when they feel like they have a grasp of the play or the offense, they're playing fast, they're making plays. But 
when they're not, there's there's some struggles there. Where where are they at right now? Do you guys feel like they've got a good? Uh, yeah, I mean that's and that's everybody. That's everybody. If you know what you're doing and, and you're confident about it, you're going to attack it with more veracity and more velocity. Um, if you're unsure, you're going to have that little hesitation step. So, uh, yeah, that's what you know. Spring ball, the off season with fall camp, that's been about getting them uh, indoctrinated in the offense so that they. Uh, feel that comfort level when the play's called that they can go full speed. Uh, have no second guessing, uh, and they've done a good job of really picking it up. And you know, now it's time you try to trim it down, kind of get them to focus on, hey, this is what we're going to be specifically doing this week, uh, as opposed to kind of fall camp and summertime was, hey, this is the whole playbook. Uh, we're going to call whatever you need to know it. Uh, so now they can hone in a little bit more on exactly what the game plan is going to look like. Brian, how, how much different is it going into game one here at the alma mater? Is, is it different? Is there any, any kind of difference in emotions? Uh, it hasn't felt different so far. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's what we've, we've been doing for a long time, getting ready for football games and training the off season and uh, getting ready for the season. Uh, now, once, once that kickoff of game one happens, I mean, it might feel a little bit different now that it's uh, back at the alma mater. and. Uh, you know, we're always wanting to win badly, and you even want it that much more uh, because of that situation. But uh, it's felt it's felt like the normal off season. We're getting ready for football. Here we go. We're excited for game one. Uh, I think it's felt that way every year. Yeah, so he 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 plays, uh, you know, he kind of plays the the Z position, which uh, David Bell uh, was in, which Charlie Jones was in. He's he's in that that type of role, that type of position right now. Brian, I I think you you've always been in the booth. Is that correct? You've always been upstairs during yes, game day, except for do, the two that I called when right when, when you right, ex exactly. <laughs> do you do you like? that position and kind of talk about what uh, you know the the interaction you guys you and Jeff have during games on you know on the headsets and and and, and your kind of being the view you have up there yeah definitely uh, the eye in the sky um everyone needs one of those and uh you know I provide that uh for for Jeff of, of being able to see things from from up top uh you get more of the full picture uh you can see um the full defensive uh, outlay when you're on the field. Sometimes things can get a little bit more uh, jumbled up because you're so close. Uh, but just being able to be up top, tell him exactly what is going on, uh, where guys are playing on defense, what we what we can do to expose them, and and really confirm or basically deny kind of what he thought he saw on the field as we go through it. And and him having someone up there that he can trust is going to give him the correct information and good information. Uh, I think is is very beneficial. Uh, so we have a lot of good discussion uh, between series about about uh, what the defense is doing, what we need to be doing on offense, how we're going to attack them coming out, um, and that that relationship has worked has worked pretty well so far. All right, thank you.